Alrighty guys, we're back and I think we're pretty near the end of the main game. The only thing we have is a medallion. It's a medallion. And uh yeah. We uh read that piece of paper from our mom and we know that we we're kind of adopted or found rather. And uh we're gonna go after Mr. Evil, he stole our sister to the church. Hello, church. Let's see, I don't want to go to the tree yet. I want to, you know, grab more thing stuff and such. There's some phoenix shaped slots in the tomb door. There's one phoenix. And a very dirty mirror. Oh, I see you over there. I don't have time to fill the grave now. The grave appears long forgotten. The dirt is wet and heavy. Where is he taking her? I don't know, but I want those phoenixes. There must be some other way. Find an alternative way inside, presumably. Alrighty. Now then, where are we morphing? Who is morphing? Someone's gotta be morphing! Come on. Come on, don't be shy, just morph away. Apparently I don't see it anyways. Alrighty! Yeah, I paused a bit to look around, and yeah, it morphs in the weirdest of places. Like, I would never even look after it for there, but yeah. His ripped clothes and bare tracks left a damning trail behind him. The villagers thought their liege had been eaten by a foul beast, a giant, monstrous bear. They saw her looking on when they discovered the mess and blamed her. They accused her of witchcraft and banished her to the forest. Lost, alone, and exiled, she desperately thought of taking her own life. But one thing kept her alive. Her children, I think. Yes. Alrighty, to the tree. The wheel turns, approach the abyss edge. <gasps> Alright, whoop! Hello. I just want some morphing things, please. Whoop, I saw you, moon. You did something weird up there. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. It's a baby face. Like the Teletubby Sun and Teletubbies. Where's the last golden phoenix? Maybe. Kind of. There we go. Well, well. Feather ribbon, bracket fungus, eggs, shells. Bracket fungus? Okay. Half moon snake hand. Hand. Spider feather ribbon, spider feather ribbon. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, I see. It's a spider. Half moon. Half moon. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Oh, that was a moon? Okie dokie. Golden Phoenix. Oh! Oh! Uh, thank you. Someone has smashed this relief to pieces. Also, some of the fragments are missing. How could you possibly notice? But okay. Sure. But the phoenix is in. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. We'll just, you know, okay, it's empty. Sure. <laughs> Jump scare. Those steps have pressure plates on them. I need to depress them without actually stepping on the stairs so I can disable any traps. Okay. Uh, yep. Ah, I'm in the right place, apparently. Yes. That is one super shovel. Haha! <laughs> Alrighty. Looks like a mirror frame. But I don't have a mirror, is that so? Still dark below. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh wait, 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 we have a rag. There we go. To the crypt. Ta-da! Kinda. So, should be morphing. Hello. Let's use this here. Cool. Oh, more dead people. That must be one of the monks from this church. Rope seems to be old and fragile, but it's very long. Okay, so what is morphing over here then? Hmm. I'll oh. never give myself up to you. Oh, you will, yeah. little bird. Because if you refuse, I'll punish your family. Starting with your nosy sister. I won't let this happen. Dude, nosy sister can take care of herself. Hello. No. <gasps> kitty! Go, kitty! <laughs> Good job, kitty! May 3rd. Our time passes by. There are only three of us left in the temple. For 50 years, we, have 50 years, we haven't seen any new acolytes. Soon we will perish in the void of time. June the 13th. Brother Matthew has passed. I fear we will join him soon, but before we depart, we must make sure nobody can open the gate to the abyss. June 5th, 15th. We've locked the discs in a temple and divided the crystals among us, including poor Matthew. May he rest in peace. I've told Brother Thomas to destroy the relief and the tree, just to be sure that nobody opens a passage. May the holy flame protect us. What do these symbols mean? Something should be morphing here. Come on. I'm 
just gonna give up and check the guide for everything. Although the guide, you know, it's not perfect. What is this? Looks like a little thingy. Hmm. There should be something down here, right? Yeah, because it's like its own place, and this is actually where we need to be too. Oh, I have a monocle. Oh, over there. No, wait, what? Oh, hello. I'll take you, I guess. Copper hand. <sighs> Whoop! Hello! Coolio. That was a totally, totally on purpose. Yeah. Still here. The beam illuminates the table's center. Okay, well... How do we, uh... How do we light the torch? What do I even have to do in here? Okay, so it is something about this. Okay, there we go. Let's focus the beam, leaving a burnt dot on the surface of the table. Okay. Cool. There we go. Burnt torch. Awesome. I think the snake problem will be solved. Yes, exactly. Hello. Okay, I have to... Okay, it's like brute force here. Whoa! Okay! That was random. Crow's skull. I read cow skull first, but that's not really the same. Oh, oh, I just realized this is a dead dude. Again. We're finding all the poor monks, aren't we? Uh, crystal. Cross crossier, though I don't really know what that is. Uh, candle and tassel. I should know what a candle is. Well, hello. Arms 10, scroll case. I'm gonna go with scroll case. Um, alms. I think the dead people need that. Whoop a daisy. Ten. There we go. There's a key. Aha. Uh -huh. Those. That was clever. So much left and nothing is yes, correct. Kettle. Flask and patch. How can I possibly click on everything except correct stuff? A flask here? What do you mean by patch? Okay, well, that's what I thought, but where's this flask that you speak of? Where is this flask you speak of? I don't know. But apparently- oh, oh hello. Okay, fine. Super camouflaged, go. Go in crystals, la la la- oh! Use the mirrors to direct the colored rays to the crystals in the center. Each of the crystals require an appropriate combination of two different Colors. Here we go.
This ain't... Oh, we can do like that. Okay, fine. I need a blue in there. What is this? Okay, okay. I hope I'm hoping this will work. Yes, okay, there we go. Somehow. <sighs> Look at that crazy lineup. Here we go. Now we've got it. Sun symbol. Okay, go. Today's eight spirit. She does not belong to you. You're wrong. <laughs> you don't recognize me, do you? That stormy night, you asked for something, and I answered your call. Curse you and your heartless kin! Who summons the spirit of the abyss? Ah, yes, I see you as I see all. Yes, your disgrace will be avenged. The curse shall be bestowed. No, I... The pact is sealed. The price will be paid. I shall return to claim your own blood. Oh, what have I done? You. But you said I would pay with my own blood. Don't you recognize them? Pregnant, abandoned, alone in the woods? She 
is mine. Nope. I knew I recognized your face. I'm so sorry. I thought it was for the best. Now, you must stop him. He is taking Lily to the abyss. The tree is the gate. You must hurry. I will. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. Oh my God, he's so adorable. Look at that. The tree is the gate. You must hurry. Oh my God, look at him, so adorable. Okay, come on, morph. I said more. Whoop! Today, Zedos, you will look like buttons, but I'm not sure which ones to press. I shall press these. Whoop! Here she is, tricking herself out in the mirror. A flowerless stalk. Thing. Whoops, Daisy. Hello. Another sun shaped slot. Whoa. I got it still. So I just realized. Woohoo! That was complete randomness, but let's pretend I knew what I was doing. We are, um... There we go, we are making the phoenix. Or, you know, portraying the phoenix's life. Okay. Something has got to morph in here. Before we take... Before we break, because we're already out of time. Something has got to morph in here. Okay, the basket. Her womb was quickening, the fruit of her forbidden affair. All that was left of her beloved. Two sweet babes, now growing in her belly. Fearing the evil that lay in wait deep in the abyss, as well as the villagers, she began to learn witchcraft in hopes of finding a way to protect her children. She had two beautiful baby girls... But she knew they were not safe, so she gave them up, leaving them in a basket on the side of the road. But she did, and there is, I guess, one left? And the one that we cannot find because it's just weird. Anyways, there we go. So we're going to take a break now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Grim Legends. Forsaken Bride, we are almost done with the main game, but hey, we got the bonus game left too, so I'll see you later.